Hey everybody, Canadian Trapper. Well, we're here at the uh, Beaver Dam. We're going to uh, put some different sets in. Uh, I brought my drowning rods with my number five bridges on them. We're going to uh, put some drowning sets in. Hopefully we can find some decent runs in there. Uh, it's going to give me an opportunity to try my new trap setters that I bought from the Fur Harvester's uh, warehouse. Uh, these things are going to make my life uh, really easy with these number five bridgers, which uh, definitely uh, deserve uh, respect. Um, but I normally would just set them on the side of the dam and uh, I ended up uh, ripping a pair of uh, chest waders last year because of it, putting my knees on these. So anyway, we're going to try those out. Plus I brought some coney bears and uh, got my lure. So we're going to go down, we're going to take a walk around the dam and we're going to see what's going on and uh, we're going to get some sets in. Here we are. Here's all the uh, fresh feed bed. There's the beaver house. Uh, I don't think I'll be setting any sets on the house today. I don't know if you guys can uh, see down into that water, but I think if I was in there for two steps, uh, I'd probably be over my head. Anyway, here's the uh, here's the dam, I'm standing on it. We've got a little bit of rain, so it's kind of been nice. You can see right down in there along that tree. He doesn't like losing water. He's packed some mud up along there trying to stop it. So I might put a set right there, open that up a little bit. I like setting dam break sets, uh, they work. The only problem is if we got a bunch of water, the current increases and it seems to uh, sit off your trap if uh, your trigger's not set tight enough. So maybe that'll be the first place we'll put our first trap. And there you have it, there's the final setup. I even put a nice white stick for eye appeal. Beaver lure, keeping his head down, stretching him into my trap, well secured. Just a couple sticks out here to suggest to uh, come right in the center. So there's the beaver house. We're up along that edge of woods here. Now there's a series of trails that come in here. There's one here. I don't know if you can see. I just kicked a stick on it. It's coming right up next to that tree. Not really fresh but uh, I know they're getting uh, wood from the other side of the road here and uh, there's two more trails the same down here to my left. So let's uh, yeah let's put a drown set in there and uh, I'll show you how we do that with my drown rods. All right, here we are at that run. That run goes right up into the, to the trees up there. This is a nice little space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like there's been another beaver here. I'm gonna clean this all up. I'm gonna draw water up on this. Make this all shiny. Maybe I'm working a little bit with my foot. You want to make sure too that you got a nice little platform packed here to set your, your leg hold on. Pretty good little spot right there. Because the whole concept is to catch the beaver by the front foot and your leg hold. He swims out and drowns. Uh, the one thing you have to make sure too with the drowning rod set is uh, you've got enough water out there to drown him. If not, uh, he'll be alive and not too happy when you get here. So uh, I got my drowning rod set right here. Again, works on a lock and I got a cable uh, it runs on the cable I'll show you so what happens is is it moves freely this way but if he tries to swim backwards it won't go so again to make sure when you get uh, your set in you've got a good hold of your trap because if it slides down to the bottom of the wire you're gonna have to take your pole out and redo it so let's give her a go Plenty of water out there. Stick that in deep into the mud. Down below. So now I got my top section here. What I have, I'm gonna go get it is a piece of T-bar. Again, making sure my trap stays up on the shore. I'll get my T-bar and secure that in. Now this T-bar is quite long. Uh, I normally set these on crossovers and uh, on the dams, but it's pretty soft here. It's going in okay. So there we go. All right. So I got a number five bridger here. 
and uh, I'm gonna go get my trap setters and we'll give her. There's my trap setters. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna set my trap aside. I'm gonna first build. Uh, let me see, get my slide going here. That spot for my trap, and I'm gonna build my little uh, pile here uh, before I put the trap in place because last thing I want to do is slide and end up in the trap. All right, so what I did is I went and I just picked up some some two sticks here. Picked up some extras. No, I'm gonna be putting in a couple more sets. So the idea here is to make the beaver feel like somebody else is in his territory. So I'm gonna whiten these up a little bit. Scrape on the ground there. Just like that. Now I'll have a real nice eye appeal. If you can't see it too good right now, I'll get the camera down here after and show you. I'm gonna leave that kind of just like that. The edge of the bank. Now, I hope this doesn't end, uh, end up with me getting my fingers caught. Like I said, I got these at the Fur Harvesters Warehouse in North Bay, Ontario, and they're great. There you go. That's how easy it is. Like I said, if you've used these number five bridges before, you know they're not a force to be reckoned with. I've almost caught my fingers quite a few times and ruined a pair of uh, chest waders since. Well, there we go. Just like that. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Get a little bit of lure. And I'll use one of these two sticks. And where I'm gonna put that, make the dirt right there. Down close. It's gonna come into that low and it's hopefully we'll get his foot caught in this. Now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna bring the camera down, I'll show you what this looks like. Plus, I'm going to put a couple of extra sticks here just to uh, try to provoke them to stay in the middle here. So here we are. There's all my two sticks. There's my lure. There's my drowning rod running out into the deep water. I don't know if you can see my trap in there. I've got my couple guide sticks. The one thing I added that I didn't show you on tape that I'm going to show you right now, there was an opening between these two trees here. I just stuck that in there. I don't want them coming up around this side to check things out. I want them to come right through my trap. All right, well, let's get, uh, I got two more corny bears. I think I'm gonna put one in the corner over here by the edge of the dam. And uh, I don't know where the other one's gonna go. Maybe we'll find another run here. And just as an added treat, deer season is over and I had my trail camera in the truck. So we're gonna put it on the drown set. And if we catch one, uh, we'll check out the footage. Okay, well, here's another spot. Uh, comes in right underneath that tree. And uh, once again, goes up the bank and right up to those woods up there. There's what he's eating. So I'm thinking a good spot for another county bear. Maybe if I block something in right in there and set, set right in, in the water there. Good morning everybody. Well, it is the next day and uh, we're going to take a walk down. I just got out of the truck. Let's go take a look. See if we got anything over here. It is a beautiful morning. It's starting to get more seasonal for sure. Well, that's pretty good luck. We got one right there. One. All right. Let's take a walk around here and see if there's anything else. Oh, 
Well, here's where we got the drown set. There's the camera, and guess what? The trap's gone. So we're going to have to check the video on that one. And then, uh, once I'm done checking the video, we'll go to uh, pulling this set, and uh, we'll see what's at the bottom. drowning rod up and see what's at the other end. We just watched the video so uh, let's take a look. Here you have it. I'll get them out and uh, we'll take a look at them. So pretty good, we got a double. The both dam brake sets uh, were set off by the current. So uh, I'll get them out and we'll take a look. I'm gonna reset this one as well. Well, there you have it guys. Ground rod set worked. We had uh, one trail set along there. It worked. Uh, both the end brakes were failures this time. There's too many sticks. Uh, but we got two anyway. So that's a start. So I reset the uh, drowning rod and the other uh, 330 trail set. So uh, let's hope we get the rest of them. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>